Alive after the Second World War triggered a peace movement, Sadako Sasaki developed leukemia after the U.S. dropped an atom bomb on her hometown of Hiroshima. She struggled to stay alive for 10 years, folding a thousand paper cranes. KITV4's Jill Kermoto shows us how her touching story came to life today for students here in Hawaii. Language differences didn't matter today. When you're talking war and peace, life and death, everyone gets it. You know, this is the most important thing. And I believe that our kids would understand that what we are trying to do and through this spirit of Sadako. And the most important thing is that that spirit would be expanding and um, pass it on to others. Middle and high school students from public and private schools learned a real life history lesson a young girl's story of horror, hope, and her family's mission of peace. <laughs> Her older brother says he remembers his sister being smart and compassionate, even while in great pain from the leukemia she developed after the U.S. dropped an atom bomb on her hometown of Hiroshima. The sixth grader's wish was to get better, but she died three months after she started the project, and the paper cranes she folded have become a symbol of world peace. It feels like she's standing right next to me as if she really likes to communicate her uh, thoughts with the kids around her age. Her family has made it their mission to spread Sadako's message of peace to as many people as possible. Sadako's nephew is a popular singer and songwriter in Japan. We can use music as a tool to reach out the kids who wouldn't have it otherwise would be interested in the subject. And they say no gesture of kindness or compassion is too small in their ongoing effort. Well, I could help by, by being nice to others. Proving peace is the same in any language. Jill Kuramoto, KITV4 News. One of the uh, paper cranes that Sadako Sasaki folded will go on display tomorrow as part of an exhibit at the Visitor Center at the USS Arizona Memorial. Oh, that's amazing. And tomorrow also marks, of course, International Peace Day. I was talking to Jill as she was leaving, and she was telling me that the family only has about five of those cranes left because they've been donated all over the world. They've given one to the September 11th Memorial as well. So mm -hmm. wonderful that those little seeds are still growing today. I think we can all learn from her story, and it's just good to see that it's still being retold every year. Yeah, beautiful there. Well, KITV.